somersaults, and twists. In jumps, a character sometimes performs a rotation, such as a somersault, and the character's pose affects this rotation. For example, a gymnast controls his rotation by entering and exiting from a tuck, which is a pose where the legs are pulled into the torso. The rotation varies with pose because changing the pose changes the character's rotational inertia. For example, if you're standing on a rotating platform, you spin slower in a T pose and faster with your arms pulled in. The effect is even more dramatic when you're holding weights in your hands. Here you see me demonstrating this variation in the rotation speed. You may have seen ice skaters do a similar trick, spinning very fast when they bring their arms in. The change in the rotation can be quite large. For example, starting from a straight layout pose, the character's rotation doubles when she goes into a loose pike, and if she then goes into a tight tuck, the rotation is up to five times faster than in the layout pose. Here's a dramatic example of a trapeze performer executing a quadruple somersault. This is a difficult trick to perform because the artist is in the air for only a few seconds. To complete all four somersaults, he has to rotate his body as rapidly as possible. And you see that to increase his rotation, he goes into a very tight tuck, coming out of it just at the last moment. Another important property about rotation is that it is not always stable. Sometimes an object spins, which is a stable rotation around an axis, but in some cases the rotation is unstable tumbling. The tennis racket theorem says that every object has two stable axes of spinning, Rotation around the third axis, which is perpendicular to these two, results in tumbling. These axes change depending on the shape of the object or the pose of the character. In a T-pose like this one, a twist rotation and a cartwheel rotation are stable spinning. A somersault in this pose results in unstable tumbling. However, by sweeping the arms and legs back, as in this pose, the somersault is stable. This is one pose used by gymnasts, divers, and trapeze artists when performing somersaults. Here you see a trapeze artist doing a stable somersault with this pose. And there are other poses, such as this one, for which the somersault is also stable. Your best guide is to study reference to see what poses are used in acrobatic jumps. When a character changes pose in midair, the rotation can change in form. For example, these poses change the rotation from a pure somersault into a somersault with a twist. And this transition is reversible. For example, the character may start with a pure somersault and then add a twisting rotation by moving the arms and then return to a pure somersault by returning to their original pose. Now let's see how a rotation is created. We'll look at a twist since it's uh, easy to perform. To do a twist, you simply push in opposite directions with your feet as you're jumping. Knowing the direction you want to twist, you simply start the rotation while your feet are on the ground. Uh, here we see uh, Rick doing a twist in which he starts facing camera and lands facing screen left. Now try the following. Jump in the air and at the apex, have a friend randomly point either to the left or to the right. You should be able to turn and be facing in that direction when you land. The question is, how can you rotate in midair without pushing off of anything? Here you see Rick doing this. 
I'm off camera and he doesn't know which direction I'll tell him to turn until he's in the air. The trick to performing this torqueless rotation is to rotate the upper and lower body in opposite directions. That is, to turn your lower body so your feet are pointing towards screen left, you swing your arms towards screen right. This is easier to do if you also angle the body as shown. Essentially, the lower body is pushing off of the upper body. Uh, the same principle is used in skateboarding tricks, such as a front side 180, in which a skater does a half turn in midair. Notice that the skater turns the upper and lower body in opposite directions. Finally, cats are famous for being able to twist their bodies so as to land on their feet. In this case, the cat rotates the upper and lower body in the same direction, but at an angle, as in this diagram. This twisting motion results in turning the entire body by 180 degrees. Here you see the maneuver performed by a real cat. Cats are very limber, so they are able to do this very quickly. Here you see me with a mechanical model of a cat constructed with springs. The design of this model makes it rotate its body in the same way as a cat. You can replicate this cat twist rotation on a turntable as you see me doing here. Notice that by swiveling my hips, my whole body rotates. So in uh, summary, uh, rotation can speed up or be slowed down by changing a character's pose. Somersaults, twists, and cartwheel turns may be stable spins or unstable tumbling, depending on the character's pose. The axis of rotation can change by changing a character's pose. For example, a character can add or remove a twist from a somersault. And rotations are usually created by a torque, but a character can also turn without a torque. That is, without pushing off of anything. Acrobatic jumps are challenging to animate but they're also entertaining and exciting. So have fun.